Hey guys, I'm here at the Patriot Aircraft with Cameron. We're just gonna walk through this plane with you guys just so we can get a little bit better idea of what it is, what it has to offer, and maybe to see if this is a good fit for you guys. This is a fairly new aircraft, right? Like, yeah. It's been only around just, for a year or two or so? Just debuted at Sun and Fun. Oh, did it? Just yeah. this year then? Yeah. Maybe that's what I saw then is the video on that. Yeah. So one thing you'll notice immediately from our competitors is this airplane is extremely utilitarian. You can... Pretty much whatever you want on the airplane, we can do. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's customizable then. Yeah, we'll start with like our wings. We have less ribs than most of the competitors, lighter weight, longer wings, longer ailerons, longer flaps than a normal Super Cub, um, LED lighting package, a lot of titanium parts, um, Behringer wheels and brakes, Acme shocks, Acme titanium gear, Dynon Avionics, it's all good. So come yeah, check it out. In. So is this cockpit standard or is everything inside of it customizable basically? Well, right now this is this is number one. This and is what does it I've come seen. with? This is the Dynon Skyview system, that's the 12 inch. And we have the D3 and then there's um, all our radio heads and um, this is autopilot. Autopilot's not standard. Okay, so basically, I mean, it looks really similar to like a Super Cub kind of shape. Right. Um, is that something that you guys were inspired by with this? Or right. Or like, is the frame itself about the same or is it completely re rebuilt and... Right, so it's it's Super Cub-esque airplane with, some, with a modern take. Okay. So when you get in the airplane, you know, it, it's a comfortable airplane. You're it not looks squeezed. quite yeah. a bit wider, I mean... Just on each side of the seat, I mean, I don't know, probably like almost like, it looks like six inches wider or so than like a standard cup. It's around, yeah, three inches, Mitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yep. Now, as far as paint schemes go, do you guys paint these yourself? Or yeah. do you, I mean, can the customer pick out whatever they want, basically? Right now, yes. Okay. Uh, this is kind of the release paint scheme. Um, there's another airplane out there, kind of do the swirly, kind of more modern paint scheme. You can do that. Okay. Um, and why don't you tell me about the tail? Is there anything different about like the elevator, no. anything like that, that would be the tail's different? Pretty standard. Okay. It's pretty standard. Um, the cool thing about this airplane, they utilize a lot of Super Cub parts. Yeah. So if you have an issue, they're easy to find. You know, you get on Univair, Airframes Alaska, whatever. Okay, um, all interchangeable stuff. Yeah, then. you're able to you able to get those parts, and they're easily accessible. Awesome. The gear is really special. The boys at Acme built this gear. It's titanium, and that saves quite a bit of weight and adds a lot of strength. Yeah. You you can beat the crap out of this gear. It's not going to break. The airplane doesn't bounce. Okay, and these are 29s. These are 29s, uh, Desert Tires. So what about the engine? Ironic. Like, uh, is um, it a standard one or can you put it whatever you want in there? Standard engine. Um, we only offer the IO320. Okay. With, they have high compression pistons, 9 one to ones, and it makes about 176 horsepower. Wow, that's a lot for a tiny yeah. airplane like this, especially what? A thousand, thousand gross pounds. This engine, I was a little skeptical about running an IO320, but this this little engine gets it. That's about the same as like a 172 like S or yeah. something like that, I think. I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but it sounds about right. Now, is this ground adjustable? This is the ground adjustable, and this is kind of what makes the airplane. Um, you know, you can pitch it for climb or you can pitch it for cruise. You can go, you know, you can pitch it and take off in 70 feet. Okay. Or, you know, if you need to get somewhere quick, you know, put it on the number 10 setting and, you know, you're going 110, 112 mile an hour. And how long does it take to adjust if Ten. you are good at it? <laughs> the longest part about adjusting the prop is getting the spinner off. Okay. But other than that, it takes five minutes. And now is it just a couple of clicks or do you have to like loosen things and each one's adjustable? Right. You, uh, you'll remove the nose cone, and there is uh, several bolts there. You loosen them up, you take your uh, sense and itch makes a key, you put two keys in, adjust your pitch there, and then torque them back down. Oh, okay. 
How much is the base model for this for people that are inter interested? Um, they start around 271. 271, okay. And it just goes up from there depending on whatever you add to it. Right. Now, you guys build these or are they something for the customer to build? Oh, uh, right now they're builder assist. Okay, so you guys get them to a certain spot and they finish or they the builder will build them the, just with questions? The with customer you. has to uh, build 51% of the airplane. Okay. Yep. Now to get this, um, I know it's experimental, but don't you still have to have them like certified as far as... Yeah. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to fly like 40 hours off this airplane. Then it turns into an airplane that's just like all the other certified airplanes. Okay. So you have to have an annual once a year and, and uh, renew the registration. But basically it's the same airplane as a certified airplane. Yeah, got it. Once the 40 hours are flown off, you take it out of phase one, and then it goes into phase two, yep. which is normal operation. So with this package, do you guys provide the engine and everything, a new one, or is that up to the customer to get? No, we provide everything. Builder assist, you buy the airplane, and the airplane is completed when you fly it away. They don't build it at their place. It's built by at your location with their help. Right, exactly. And where are you guys located? In Centerville, Alabama. Well, thank you guys for your time. I really do appreciate it. It's a beautiful plane, it really is. Thank you, we're proud of it. I bet, I bet. How long did it take for you guys to get this your company to this place. This was about two and a half years in development. Okay. So.